Hi guys, it's Adam from Metro Hobbies down at Box Hill. Just got some awesome Gundam stuff back in stock. As you guys know me, I love my Bandai stuff. And uh, one of my personal favorite kits we have back in is the RG Suzabi. I'm a huge fan of Universal Century and uh, Shah's Counter-Attack is really probably my favorite film of all time, just in general. So this kit holds a very special place in my heart. And on top of that, it's just a bloody fantastic kit. So uh, let's see what comes inside, eh? Inside the box, you will find all the awesome stuff that comes in your RGs. Plenty of really detailed bits and pieces, including some of my favorite beam effects, which we can see right there. That lovely red that Shah is very well known for, or the Red Comet's uh, mobile suits. And very detailed instructions, of course. Got to have your detailed instructions. So, I love the decals on this. It has a really nice set as you'll find in most RGs. It's very common in RGs these days that you get really nice, really fantastic decals and surprisingly good stickers. The stickers are becoming more and more of a, um, just easier to apply. They just seem, they always seem to look better. Um, and personally, I do love Shah's emblem right, uh, right there. That lovely gold just comes up fantastically on that decal. Now, Going through, the shield on this being 144 scale is a lovely size. That actually connects into, as you'll see in a lot of media, it connects with the, uh, with the beam tomahawk. So you get a really nice elongated weapon effect. It's very, uh, very intimidating. I do love it. Now onto the actual um, beam tomahawk, the beams for the beam tomahawk themselves. This plastic reacts to UV light. So if you actually have it near a UV display, it will glow this really, really deep sort of uh, menacing, glowy sort of color. It's, it's, it's very nice and you can combine this in different ways. You can have just a single beam, you can have the two beams down the side in a sort of ax mode. Um, really makes it quite a, uh, quite a dangerous looking weapon. On top of that, if we go through the instructions, very simply laid out as you'd expect with all RG kits. Uh, this is where they started around this time. They started doing a bit more in English. It was sort of their, um, their way to get a bit more, uh, bit more explanation of the finer details in the kits, um, including a brief summary of Shah's counterattack and uh, when the Red Comet actually uh, fights his last fight. Spoilers, uh, spoilers for a movie made in the 80s. Um, yeah, so it is an absolutely fantastic kit. Um, unfortunately, I haven't finished mine to show you guys, which is uh, a bit disappointing. But um, yeah, in future, I'll definitely have this one on display down at Metro Hobbies. So um, feel free to come check that out. Um, what I do like about these real grades they're doing these days is how they're sort of implementing that, uh, that skeleton into the actual kit, as opposed to the earlier kits where, they, where you build the skeleton first and then build the armor around it. Um, they've really stepped up their game. And uh, this is one of the kits that definitely shows that really good, high class quality set. And continuing on guys, we thought we'd uh, get something out for the uh, younger generations. And of course, Pokemon is the eternal love of uh, people everywhere. You can never go wrong with Pokemon. Um, now in terms of uh, what the kits are, they are a lot more straightforward. These kits are designed, uh, of course, like all Bandai kits, they don't need any glue, but you can. Uh, but the advantage with these ones is they don't need any tools. So great for the kids, or if you just want to quickly throw together a kit in the spare 10 minutes, 20 minutes that you have available to you between picking up the kids and making their lunch, it's a great way to go. Now, we'll start off with Pikachu. We will show you the Pikachu. Uh, this Pikachu we have here. Of course, classic Pikachu in all his happy, perky glory. Everyone loves him, everyone knows him, you can't go wrong with him. Now in terms of these kits, they come on, you, the smaller ones come on two runners, two sprues, uh, very straightforward. They, uh, the instructions themselves on the smaller kits are printed all on the inside of the box. 
So saving paper there, not having a massive instructions, very simple to follow, only five steps. So again, great for the kids, nothing too difficult for them to follow. They do come with a couple of, uh, couple of stickers in there as well, mainly for the eyes, which honestly, very hard to tell those eyes are actually even stickers. They've done these very well. The colors pop on them fantastically. And of course on the tongue as well, uh, that is a sticker, believe it or not. Um, yeah, very straightforward, very fun to build good for the kids, good for a quick after school sort of activity to calm them down after their long day of learning. So yes, we have all these good to go at Metro Hobbies. Come on down. We have, of course, your Classics Pikachu, Eevee, everyone's favorite. Good old Mew, one of my personal favorites. We just got in Magikarp. Good old Magikarp, can't go wrong with him. And uh, Rayquaza, if you're after something in the legendary category, which of course, let's face it, we all need some more legendary Pokemon in our life. So yeah, come on down and uh, see what we have on display. Thanks a lot, guys.